Welcome to Jaunty Day Music, where today I'll be comparing two sight reading options. The first is the Read Ahead sight reading app, and the second is a sight reading book, level one, by John Kember. Shall we? So, here is the Read Ahead app, which is available in five different skill levels. What this app calls prep is what John Kember would call level one. These are, I think they're all hands separately pieces. So I own level one. And let me tell you the pros and cons. First problem is a big problem. You can only use this app on an iPad, not a tablet, an iPad specifically. So that rules out millions of potential customers. Since it's designed to be used by one person, it's very hard to share this app. See how these days are all marked as finished. If I wanted to share this with Mr. Jaunty, friends, or perhaps you have piano students, ah, it's really not designed for sharing. It can be a little tricky to navigate the app. It's no problem to go forward, but you can't always go back when you'd like to. So if I start a piece, then I have to finish it or go all the way back to the level. That can be a little frustrating. Here's another con. To me, this app progresses too quickly. It assumes that I'm absorbing, fills, absorbing skills much faster than I really am. And I'm not a true beginner. I have a music ed degree. So I think it progresses too quickly. For example, I think the app had two days of practice for parallel tenths, and then they didn't come up again. I don't feel that I mastered that skill, seeing at a glance that I'm even looking at parallel tenths. And now I don't think it's coming back until the next level I buy. So progresses too fast for me. One complaint I have is that a couple of pieces are missing in the app. I didn't mark any, but some pages don't load. You try to play a piece and it's just a blank screen with nothing for you to play. A potential con is that this app is only available in English. Now for the good news. The app is fun. It feels like a game and helps to teach you the necessary skills of sight reading, such as reading ahead. That's why it's called read ahead. Let me show you an example of my favorite feature. When you try to play a piece, the app will delete the measure you're playing at that moment so that you are forced to plan ahead and read ahead. Look at this, if you can. Now it's gone. See? There's no stopping. I love that feature. And now, even when I play in a traditional paper book, I remember to read ahead because I imagine that the measures are going to vanish before my very eyes. So that's a big pro. If you buy one level, you get 36 days of music, which is about 72 pieces. You can see one A, one B, one C. I've saved one day undone. Another pro, this is very portable. Anywhere you would take an iPad, you can take plenty of music to sight read with you. Each level, these 36 days, costs $9.99. I'm kind of a cheapskate, so that feels like a lot to me, but you get a lot of music, so it's probably a good price. If I could share it more easily with Mr. Jaunty, then I'd be very happy to pay that price per level. Not very happy, but I would accept it as fair. So that is the Read Ahead app, $9.99 per level, interactive, helps you learn what sight reading is, progresses too quickly. Here we have a traditional book, Piano Sight Reading One by John Kember. 
I only have one complaint with this book, and it's that it doesn't feel like very much music for the price of a book. That's maybe just because it is so simple. There are 52 pages in the book, and the sight reading for two hands does not start until page 48. So this felt uh, a little too easy. I could easily have played the whole thing inside a week, and I don't want to buy a new sight reading book every week. Does anybody? Now for the good news. Since it is just a plain old fashioned book, there is no technology necessary, let alone Apple specific technology. This would be very easy to share with family members, friends, music students, if you have them. And the book is of lovely quality. Look at this creamy paper. It's so easy on the eyes, especially compared to the bright white paper of most sheet music or the bright white screen of an app. And it's written in three languages, English, French, and German, which might be useful to you. My teacher speaks German, so even if I read the book in English, if I choose to share it with her or ask her a question, then she too will be able to read titles and notes. And that is handy. See those languages? Now for price. Assuming you already have an iPad, which is a crazy thing to assume, one level of the Read Ahead app costs $9.99. This book currently costs $13.22 from Amazon in the US. That includes shipping. So maybe it's a $10 book if you can get it in a music shop. I don't know. Feel free to comment if you have a music shop handy. This is also available as a Kindle app, but how big are Kindles? We have an old Kindle Paperwhite that's maybe this tall, like the size of my own hand, but I would prefer not to read multiple lines of music on a device that's the size of this little paw. If anyone has tried this on a Kindle, please tell me what it's like. Is it manageable? Is it big enough? So, overall, I think I prefer the Read Ahead app. I will buy level two and see how that treats me. But I've also bought a Paul Harris sight reading book. It's his level two. I didn't get a new copy. I got one 20 years old. Oh, that's another pro. Books can be a, uh, acquired secondhand. I don't think there's any such thing as a secondhand app. So check your thrift stores. You might be able to get a good sight reading book very cheaply. And then of course it beats the app.